All right, everybody. Let's continue on here with NBA. And I, re I, I really want to get this season done because I want to get ready for NBA 2K15. So I got to try to play as many games as I can because as soon as Madden comes out in just a couple of weeks from now, I'll be pretty busy with Madden and MLB and pretty much UFC as well. So I can't really be spending a lot of my time with a pretty much a year old game. And I, I look, there's like 30 some more games left, so I gotta get moving with these games. Gotta get some new wired headsets. And the Thunder going through their pregame routine. These uh, wired headsets I have, uh, the Turtle Beaches, I'm not sure what they are. The X Ear Force X12, I've had them for a while, and they're, they kind of got like some staticky sound to them. And I gotta get some new ones. I think I'm getting those gold headsets for the PS4. Be seeing in this one, Kevin Martin. All right, here we go. For him, it's the corner. He loves to let it fly from over there. Who am I on? Jabaka. All right, Sir Jabaka. Well, Thunder are looking to grab one for the home fans here in Oklahoma City before heading back out. Yes. They're one of the most dangerous teams in the NBA right now. No question, they've won seven of their last eight. Well, this is interesting. This is the fourth and final meeting between these two clubs. And, uh, you know, with a 2-1 lead, Clark, do you think they're thinking about that? Ah. Uh, is that important? No, I don't think so, Steve. I mean... Well, deserving to Kevin Durant for being on the cover of 2K15, I believe. I don't think it affects their effort level at all. Every time you step between the lines, you want to outdo whoever's in front of you. Now here's Westbrook. After the miss from Serge Ibaka, six to shoot. Let's it go from 14. And you can wow. Come on, Corey Brewer. Dang it. Let Russell Westbrook square all up on you. The Thunder shooting their first free throw of the night. Well, this is a club that has hit about 80% of its free throws during the season. Very impressive number. Those are good numbers for... No! Oh! How dare you, Serge Ibaka. Their free throw shooting percentage this season. It's one thing to intimidate with your play, and it's another to get in the Wow. Shot you just blocked. Last season, Ibaka took it to that next level and ruffled some feathers by doing just that. Here's Ruby after the made shot from Perkins. On the wing, Brewer. And the shot is good. Nice. Pretty, pretty passing. Timely recognition as to where the open man was. For Oklahoma City, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. And speaking of Ibaka getting feisty, I remember seeing him get into it, in fact, with Coach Brooks when he was subbed out of a game. There was that flagrant foul against Blake Griffin. He, he's got a few wow. Of course, you got ran over, Corey Brewer. Kevin Durant runs you over. Showing emotion. Exactly. Passion. As long as you control the emotion. I said so. And a ah. Called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. There we go. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. Right in. Yeah. Oklahoma City, you forget that in Kevin Durant's first season, they started out going 3-29. and 29 And I tell you what, you talk about their success, it's due to the resilience and perseverance and leadership of Kevin Durant and the rest of those guys. Now here's Westbrook. They had a 24-point outing in their last game against Memphis. I thought his rebound yes, was blocked him. Some big boards really helped out on the glass, helped his team out big time. Perkins against Rubio. The pass to Love. Here's Money. Got it. God damn. Kicks to Brewer. On the wing, Brewer fires from deep. Ah. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Well, that was a sloppy offensive drive there. The perseverance for this Oklahoma City Thunder organization. 
Their star players, Steve, get a lot of credit, but it's... Ah, it's PT is installed. Yeah! Can't wait to play that. Scott Brooks has continued uh, to kind of establish that atmosphere in the locker room. And they have players who just want to work and, and want to get better. And when you have a, a large group of people all with that same approach, you're going to be very successful. The shot's good. There we go. Good job there, Kevin, getting himself a little space on the inside. Looking at the last game for the Minnesota Timberwolves, it was a loss to Los Angeles. Look at what they did in the fourth quarter. I mean, they just went to sleep. Totally non-committal basketball. They allowed the big comeback. Yeah, but don't discount the effort on the other side, Clark, because they took advantage of the open. Jeez. Put me on Kevin Durant. Here tonight, we'll see. Pass to money. On the wing, Brewer. Oh, trying for it. Outside for Martin. Sinks there we go. Martin's got himself going there. I helped. First points of the game on the deep ball. How in the world did they let him get that wide open? Westbrook gets a screen from Ibaka. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Uh -huh. Maybe the most explosive. Domination. <laughs> Oklahoma City leading by eight. So on the floor for Minnesota. Money in at the four spot. Mo Williams out there with Alexi Shved. Then there's Buddy. And it's Pekovic in at the center position. And Westbrook really a freak athlete. Clark, a terrific dunker. Yeah, he's a guy you would just love to see in the dunk contest, Kevin. But he says he's more of a game dunker and might not shine in the exhibition type format. And I can understand that. The dunks that Russell does in games are so vicious nice. and so posterizing that it's hard to create that same type of tenacity and energy in a contest. So I think there are some guys that are more geared towards dunking in games than winning dunk contests. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, guys, money in the last... Dang it, man. The Lakers put on a show. He ended with 17 points, and the basket seemed pretty big to him. He didn't miss a whole lot all night. Safe to say he is out of his funk after a game like this. He'll try to he'll try to keep up this pace now, guys. Great job, Doris. Thank you. Got my own rebound. Yeah. Interesting to see if... He can stay in a role like that tonight. I agree with you there. I mean, he obviously hit on something that brought out the best in him, and you can be sure he's going to take the exact same approach in this one. Definitely. And as confident of Wow. He destroyed me. God dang it. Well, I did say put me on Kevin Durant. They did. I get dominated. The dish to Buttinger. Back to Williams. Now Buttinger. Six on the shot clock. Schmidt, the pass to Williams. Let's it go. Misses off the right iron. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. Durant. Yeah. Oh, God. They got the... Oh, got it. Nice. Pass the wrong guy. <laughs> Now here's Schved. He has five. There's a screen. Launches it. Timberwolves keep it alive. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Buttinger with it. Now defended by Fisher. Outside Williams. Can change shot. Here's money. No. Ah. Fisher dishes to Collison, pushing their lead to double digits. Collison's got his first bucket of the night. Very clever. Forty seconds left in the first half. Carter kicks to Ibaka. That one falls. Dang it. And now a nine-point thunder lead. That makes it 10 of their last 12 points coming from inside the painted area. 
Yep, that's something that the defense has to put a stop to. Maybe a uh. adjustment is necessary here. Westbrook drives in. The rebound by Kevin Love. Love's got his fourth rebound in this one. Martin, the pass to Love. Good. Nice. Love's got four points in the quarter. And here we go with Russell Westbrook. The layup off target. And so that's the end of the... Now down by seven. Now presented by Sprint. Now let's see if we can catch up here. Welcome the Sprint Halftime Report presented by Sprint. And a wonderful view there of Oklahoma City. Welcome back to our coverage. Well, that's the lead. He's got 11 points and one steal. The motor on this guy is amazing. Completely revved up. He's been everywhere today. He sure has. There we go. Both ends of the floor. I mean, his offense yes, has been great, but defensively, he's brought huge energy, too. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for the How second dare half of basketball. That was a trip. For Oklahoma City right now. Uh, come on. Carter is out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Durant in at the small forward spot. We look back to that 2008 draft. Uh, the then signed oh, that sucks. took Westbrook at the four spot, and a lot of people thought that was a reach. But I'll tell you what, you redo the draft right now, and he has a legitimate case of being the number one pick. Shots good by Ibaka. Dang it, man. For those two points, really, nobody paid him any mind there. And Rubio picks to Martin. Is it to money? Shot clock at six. Back to Martin. And he gets the nice. Ball. Martin's got ten points. Well, Clark, back to that 2008 draft, Westbrook had played kind of a combo yep. guard at UCLA, and there were some questions I think among a lot of scouts and personnel guys' minds about his ability to become a full-time point guard. Yeah, you know it's interesting. I think you always have to look at players not just for what they might become, but what are they when they get to you. And Russell was a guy who was athletic, aggressive, hungry to get better. And when you've got those attributes, and there you go. You're going to be a difference maker in the league, and he's proven that to be the case. Guys, they've had a doing horrible. <laughs> Got good looks, and they've made three out of four of them. Carter against Martin. Carter kicks to Durant. Looking for a bucket, he gets it there. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. Dang. Six points for Serge Ibaka. Beautiful ball movement again. Last five trips, they've all ended with a great pass, leading to a basket, Steve. I mean. They are really sharing the basketball. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris. Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Scott was oh. discussing with his players. He said to his guys, let's get serious about driving the lane. <laughs> Come on, man. Interior defenders. That's where he sees the soft spot in this defense. He also wants his players putting pressure on the defense with early offense. Lots of shots and an aggressive approach in general whenever they've got the ball. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive, Kevin. All right, Doris, thanks. Carter with a three. Rebound by Money. Money's got four rebounds in this game. Feeds to Brewer. Nice. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Brewer's got his second bucket of the night. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. Yeah, the defense has been futile here. Five of the last six field goals in the lane. Uh. Well, it was the Oklahoma City Thunder winning their last game against Memphis. Yeah, it didn't seem to be much of a challenge for them uh, in that game. It seemed like... Uh, there we go. Defense that they were facing. Yep, they had the defense on its heels early the entire game, and actually nearly the entire game. And no matter what unit was out there, looked like a mismatch to me. You know, one thing with Scott Brooks, guys, he's very consistent with his message. You listen in on those timeouts; it's all about getting. Ah, oh, yes, missed. Letting their offense come from that. Been a poor shooting performance for him today, but luckily for them, a lot of his teammates have come through. Rubio dishes to Bekovic. Fades back. Nice. 
Now just a two-point Thunder lead. Well, you can sense the urgency with them now. I mean, right here, they're flat in the first half. No! Kevin Durant. A lot more fire and a lot more intensity. You can see they're driven to get things done. And Clark, you mentioned Brooks' single-mindedness. Yeah. Pretty constant with his rotations, too. And there's no doubt players appreciate knowing their role, but you know, a lot of critics have been surprised at how Brooks has stuck to his lineups. Some lineups that didn't seem to be... All I screwed that up. Brooks very loyal to his starting group. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Adams, he's checked in for Perkins. Jeremy Lamb comes in for Vince Carter. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Williams passes to Money. And it's good assistance. Nice. And that's 15 points for Money. Well, their plan of attack has been pretty clear to see. I mean, get the ball inside and just take it strong to the hoop. Be dominant in the lane. Well, the defense has been very slow to adjust. I mean, that's 10 straight points. Ah, oh, man. Shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Timberwolves trail by four. Williams up on top. He's covered by Fisher. There's the pick. Loses there we it. go. Green and lays it up and in. You know, they've been so effective when they've been able to get the ball inside. Some real shortcomings from this defense. I mean, they've given up five straight looks in the paint. Dishes at the land. There's 47 seconds left in the uh. That drops. And the Thunder lead by Come on, we almost had it. Big points there. I mean, they got them on a nice play to get the ball right to the bucket. That's what they're looking for down the stretch, Clark. More of the same. Get it inside. Money passes to Brewer. Hooked away. No. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota Ooh. will retain possession. Yeah, so close to picking that pass off, guys. At least he got a hand on it. He did what he needed to do to make sure it didn't hit the target. A different look for Oklahoma City. Ryan Gomes is checked in for Adams. Roberson comes in for Serge Ibaka. Tavo Cephalosha subbed in for Kevin Durant. Clock at four. The third ah! Third. And here is Lamb, averaging 14 points a game. Fisher with the ball. Pass to Lamb. And he makes good on the layup. Dang it. And it's a six-point Thunder lead. Here's Williams. Oh! It's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the... The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Well, tremendous point guard play, but that's nothing new coming from him. This is what you expect, the gorgeous feed there. On the court for Minnesota, Rubio and Martin manning the back. Corey Brewer is out there with money. Dang it. Down low. What a display of offense we've seen today, and it's only getting better. Well, both defenses have been on their heels all day, and it's begun to take its toll. Out of bounds, Timberwolves ball as Minnesota keeps possession. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Thunder. When this game is done, they'll be off to Orlando, and they'll take on the Magic. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. I tell you, I'm anxious to see what ends up happening with that Knicks game. Should be a good one. Kevin Durant's checked in for Ryan Gomes. The drive by Rubio. Teardrop shot and is blocked by Lamb. Up against Westbrook. Tips it. Great positioning on the putback. Bang. Perkins got the lead up to 10 now for Oklahoma City. Look at the points in the paint, the inside game. It's been very one-sided here for a while now. Well, the defense just hasn't been physical enough at the rim. I mean, eight of their last 10 points have come There we go. Well, nothing was going down for him in the first half, but since the break, he's been on target. The Thunder leading by eight. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. And there's the feed to Lamb. Perkins kicks to Lamb. Just five on the clock. Banked in off the glass. Oh, oh my God. Now for the Thunder. It seems like they're finding an open lane of the hoop every time down. 
That's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Rick Adelman as he addressed his team. He let his players know that they've got to do a better job on defense. He said, they're scoring any way they want. We've got to show some pride here. Let's make a stand defensively, get a stop, and get on a run of our own. Do they have it in them, Kevin? Durant with it. Now guarded by Money. It's Westbrook with the drive. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And Westbrook is so dynamic offensively. Guys, his ability to score in transition may be unmatched <laughs> in this league. And I still think he has potential uh, to be even better defensively. So uh, incredible how good this guy could be. Yeah, he has the quickness and speed to dart in and break up a play, whether it's picking off a pass or just taking it out of your hands. That's good. That is some real serious dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. Now here's Durant. Defense right on ah. the It's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession here. He dishes it to Westbrook. Out to Carter. Four on the shot clock. And Durant, here we go. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Money's got his fifth rebound right now. All right. Their next game is at New Orleans Arena for a game with the Pelicans. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. There we go. Good stuff. But we need to keep doing more of it, though. they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Well, he's got to get everybody on the same page. I mean, that's the reason for this timeout. And if that happens, I think they can improve and start playing better. You know, it's a coach's job to always try to be two or three steps ahead of the opponent and to look for that extra edge if you can. And I think he feels like he might have seen one. Carter kicks to West. Inside to Perkins. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got six assists here tonight. We've seen a noticeable improvement out of him since halftime. He didn't have a whole lot working in the first half. Timberwolves passing it around. Was shot by Rubio. Nice. And it's Minnesota. Assist from a bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Westbrook. Fires, high post, pulls it. Dang. Here is what. Rubio outside. Here's Money, defended by Ibaka. Money passes to Love. Well, a good game tonight for me. Right. He's got eight points, and he's picked up one dime. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring break. Come on, Kevin Love. And they keep piling up the assist, guys. Great ball movement. Another thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint for plenty of those close range points. You got to have those. 157 left to play here in the fourth. Carter dishes to Westbrook. Left side, Westbrook. Ibaka. Ah! Intelligent passing there to make that hoop possible. Timberwolves trail by 10. Rubio with it. Westbrook picks him up. Martin against Carter. And that basket's going to count, folks. Gets the goaltending call right there. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Oklahoma City's gone 3 of 7 tonight from three point territory. There's 126 left here in the fourth quarter. Oh, and there's the alley oop. And out of bounds is the two. Okay. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. Time running out for the Timberwolves. Rubio, the pass to Money. It's a pick by Love. Here's Money. And again, it's been right. converting. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. 
Durant kicks to Kobe. Fifty-eight seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Lock at six. Outside for Durant. From the arc, shot is blocked. And the clock is their worst enemy. Go, 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 go. Yeah, they've got to work very quickly here, Steve. Brewer's shot is No! Ah! Uh, yes! The Timberwolves have gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. Rubio, the pass. No! And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Stupid Norton. Freaking. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Uh, go, 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 go! No! I missed. God dang it. I screwed that up. And so they choose to intentionally foul. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the final four. And an intentional foul right there. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Johnson, he's checked in for Love. Muhammad comes in for Brewer. J.J. Barea has checked in for Kevin Martin. And it's Williams in for Ricky Rubio. And the Thunder making a switch here. Lambs checked in. Connects! Oh, and that yeah, was a good shot. Oklahoma City shooting is beautiful right now. 60% for the game. Pretty much everyone out there has been missed. Ah, dang it. That increases their lead to six. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a seven point game. The free throws go down, and the lead goes up. Here's Berea. Connects. Nice shot. And they trail by just four. Nice play there on the inbounds. The defense really lost contact. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. And that's right. No other option but the foul and hope for some misses. Come on, miss it. Uh. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. And so both free throws are good. And it's a six-point ball game. Come on, go, 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 go. Miracle comeback. Oh, man. You, you freaking moron. Ah. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreak. That's off as well. So we miss it. All right, go, 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 go. Ah, we ran out of time. Oh, that was a good shot. Holy freak. Since the beginning of the fourth quarter, the three point shot has really just been there for him. Everything's falling. Yeah, the touch is down. Hurry up! Oh! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Come on, we got one shot at this. Come on! Shut up! Oh, man. We didn't have any timeouts left. Dang it. Ah, oh, what the freak. I wish you guys would have played like that in the game. Jeez. With our Jordan player of the game, Doris. Russell, congratulations on this. Ah. <laughs> Dang it. Word has been going around that you are starting to become really isolated from the team, eating lunch in your car by yourself, not talking to anyone. What's the real story here? Stink. Oh no, I would never isolate myself. So that's what's going around about me, huh? All I can do is laugh about something like that. I have no idea how these things get started, man. Yeah, I did have to go out to my car during practice to get something once, and I ended up just chilling for a few minutes to finish what I was eating. But I ain't got no problems with my teammates, man. You're just fishing beyond that.
Alright, let's see what happens here. Look, man, this story took off way more than anybody expected, but you just added fuel to the fire with your press conference. What? Yeah, it's crazy how they're trying to blow this up, though, man. Can a dude just go out to his car if he's trying to be alone for a while without getting some label? Yo, I was just trying to chill out, you feel me? I know, man, but there's eyes and ears everywhere always looking for a story. Then you take a little offense to the way that the story got spun. I mean, you just giving the story more legs. It's ridiculous. I feel like I can't do anything anymore. Look, man, just let it serve as a wake-up call. All right? What you say to the press matters. Next time you got a mic or a camera on you, think twice before you open that big mouth. I thought I said a pretty good thing, though. Yo, man, I thought I was thinking, man, but <sighs> I guess I got to try a little harder or something. Thanks, man. The story will blow over, man. I mean... These stories have short shelf lives, you know? Don't sweat it. I hope so. Ridiculous. <laughs> Get traded yet? Uh, my Passengers, we're about to begin our descent into Do one more. Hopefully I get traded in the next video.